we felt it imperative as NGOCC to come and pay you a courtesy, uh, being as, as such that we are having some activities in your, in your area. Um, basically, of course, our initiative and our agenda is focused on women empowerment. And we are here for an activity where we had uh, some survey undertaken last year which was looking at uh, the universal um, periodic review of human rights, as well as the voting patterns, in particular looking at it from a gender lens, why are women lagging behind in decision making? Uh, why do people not vote for women? Who votes for women? Who does not vote for women? Basically interrogating such questions. And we were here to disseminate the results of that survey uh, but also we took advantage of the meeting we held with our key informants as well as our membership organizations. As you may be aware, NGOCC is a coordinating body. So we do not work alone. We work in partnership with other member organizations who drive the gender agenda forward as we are moving towards that development together. So one of our key focus areas that we are addressing in this 2021 and really according to our strategy is to encourage women participation in decision making by promoting more women to take up leadership roles, especially elected office. Um, and as such, we have a strategy in place as NGOCC, and we're calling this the Coordinated Elections Campaign Strategy, or CAKES in short. And basically, we are trying to to amass a critical mass of women, a cadre of women supporters, both men and women, who champion and promote these women to take up more roles. As you may be aware, Your, Your Highness, the number of female parliamentarians are only 29 against 164 male MPs. If we talk about councillors, the numbers are even more appalling. We are talking about women being in the hundreds at around 123 against more than 1,600 male counterparts. So really we are saying we need more women in decision making and we have been having conversations with leaderships, traditional leadership, as well as engaging the government in trying to strategize on a way we can improve women's chances during elections. In Kazungola, Livingston and Zimba districts. And uh, a lot of villages that are Livingston districts, uh, we have given them title deeds to their, traditional title deeds to their land. <clears throat> and if I was to take out certificates that women, young ladies, have, tie, have been tied to the right hand, then you would be saying you are wasting your time talking to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With us, it's, not, it's a tradition, so. Oh. Yes, it's a tradition. No, I'm sure I'm saying that you know, the way we are, our structures, almost every position has got a gender and a male counterpart. It's been like that for centuries. The problem is, for other people, other children, you are changing tradition. Mm -hmm. For us, it's the tradition. Every party to say, if you are a candidate, mm -hmm. you know, maybe for this council chairperson, leave it to a lady, may, uh, MP leave it to a man. So that's equal in a way. It's equal, yeah. Except for a president who's like, where you have six. Almost six MPs, eh? Mm -hmm. One mayor. Mm -hmm. <laughs>